Live from Market Square in downtown San Antonio, this is SA Live. Market Square and happy Valentine's Day, everyone. I'm Mike Osterhage. And I'm Fiona Gorst. Is that right? Yeah. I know. We've got a lot on today's show. Of course, really good food. And uh -huh. really good food. Oh, yeah. And more really good food. <laughs> the ultimate Philly cheesesteak. And in honor of mm -hmm. the Eagles, it's green. Green cheese on there. I'm green with envy. Sounds like something from Dr. Seuss. <laughs> green cheese and Philly cheesesteak, something like that. And a special, very colorful performance from Grupo Folklorico de Bendiciones. And you might even learn a couple of steps. They are just beautiful when they do that. I know. I'm hoping. I'm hoping to do well. I'm not we'll find out. The knife thing, I don't think. I'm, not try <laughs> I'm hoping you don't. I don't want to be next to you if you try it. <laughs> Me neither. <laughs> but first, it's flan with a chocolate twist. Oh, my goodness, and are you going to love this? <laughs> yes, indeed. Carino Cortez, owner of Viva Via, is here to give you a taste of this Valentine's Day special. Yes, indeed. So we are, this is fascinating when you were talking about how this thing all goes together. Absolutely. Two things in one, mm -hmm. and then it kind of gets... It's the best of both worlds. You get two desserts in one, okay. and it's nicknamed the impossible cake, because whenever you bake it, it's like these two layers separate into what you see here, and it's just gorgeous and beautiful. Woo. So we're going right. to start. Started. We're going to start with the cake over here. Okay. And to make things a little simpler, we started with the box cake mix. So All you right. can go ahead and add that. Like that. We add in some oil. A bit of oil. And a cup of water. Okay, so and just the ordinary. Ordinary ingredients. Right. Sometimes I like to add a little cinnamon in there and give it a something extra. So he's going to do that. And while he's doing that, we're going to make the flan over here. All right. What have I got as far We've as ingredients? We've got a can of evaporated milk. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and pour that in. There we go. Okay. And then some sweetened condensed milk. Okay. That can also. All of it. All right. All of it. We help go. you out. Mm -hmm. There we go. And this is the topper for what is, I mean, just beautiful yes. food that you're oh, offering yeah. tonight. Oh, yeah. So we're going to showcase tonight we have a gorgeous mm. menu. We've got our full menu, but of course, you can choose from our special Valentine's Day menu, which mm -hmm. is a great deal, by the way. Ooh. For two people, it is $55. That's it. And you get and drinks as you well, get drinks. right? You get two cocktails. <laughs> and appetizers, entrees, Appetizer, dessert. entree, dessert. Yeah. Oh my it's gosh. Cheaper than I mean. Yeah, I know. Day. Usually it's the drink that kind of right. And we're looking at budget. the stuff on the table right mm -hmm. now. That's a part of this. And right? this is just some of the items. So we've got a smoked duck quesadilla, our sopas, which is a little masa cake with our red chili pork. Uh -huh. You can choose from the pasta that we plated, the steak. I mean, uh, where do you get a steak that mm, with an enchilada? With an enchilada. Or mm -hmm. our <laughs> chicken, and then choco flan is one of our desserts, or heart shaped sopa pias. Okay, so okay. let's finish our. <laughs> Fun. So I've got the evaporated milk, yes, condensed, the condensed milk in milk, here, and I'm going to sprinkle all this. Okay. Yes, and then cinnamon. you're going to crack these eggs in there. Okay. Should I use a, can I use that spatula? Yes, the okay, spatula I just is for you over here. And, and while you're doing more, that, so, okay. I'm going to spray the bottom of this pan over here. And I'm going to put our secret ingredient, the cajeta, which is very classic for this dessert. Which is? It's a goat's milk caramel. Goat's milk caramel. Yes, wow. it's got a very distinct flavor. It's really delicious. It's it's almost it's mm. even better than a sea salt caramel. Let me taste here. I want a yeah. goat's milk caramel. That and good. it's a little thicker. It's nice. Oh my gosh! And it's so mm. yeah, yes, creamy it's got a thickness. So you just let that go, and it'll melt in there. And that little aftertaste, you can taste the goat's uh -huh. milk in there. Mm -hmm. Wow. Wow. Absolutely. That's really good So you can go ahead and pour that next. Okay. So there goes the layer, and the, the chocolate cake goes in for, well, I don't think yep. it all the powder it'll, mixed in here. It'll mix in the oven, yeah, I'm just sure. Adds to the flavor <laughs> of it, so. And then Fiona's going to hand me her flan. Mm -hmm. First time making flan? I believe so. <laughs> and, and and it's the impossible cake. The impossible too. cake. And <laughs> so you just for the stars. <laughs> I'll let you know how it turns out later. <laughs> so you pour that in here and see how it's kind of mixing together. Actually, mm -hmm. whenever you bake it in a water bath for 45 minutes at 375, it's going to come into these two distinct layers. So I'm actually going to let Fiona flip this one that we made. And even though you put the cake on the bottom and the flan on the top, then they are going to change gonna places. They're going to flip. Exactly. All right. So I'm putting it 
on this plate on right this here. Plate. <laughs> I was like, all right, here we go. One, two, and. Everyone say a little prayer. Come on. Ooh! <laughs> Ooh! Ooh! Nice. Yes! Wow. Gorgeous. <laughs> Not, not too much splash. Not All too right. much splash. <laughs> and so we've got that as our dessert option or heart-shaped sopa pias. And you said that's on the menu mm -hmm. all the time. Yes, this one's on the menu all the time. Yes. So you can get it at any point. Mm. And you sprinkle a little bit of... Yeah, uh, a little pecans, pecans a there, little bit of cherries, cherries. Very classic. And also just remember in Mexico, we actually celebrate friendships and love for Valentine's Day. So you can oh. bring your friends out. For Valentine's dinner tonight, and Galentine's, you yeah. know. <laughs> and the excuse to go have a really, really good meal. Yes. You know? so, oh, my goodness. That looks fantastic. Can we take a little nibble? Yes, actually. There we go. Let's Dying do to this. taste this. I'm going to cut into this. You uh, have to try the, the caramel there. Oh, I'm that on is. it. Oh. Yeah. Okay. All right. Look no, I'm waiting for it to come my way. Beautiful, beautiful that is. We'll give. Okay. Okay. And I'll hold it. There we go. You go first. Go ahead. Oh, ladies. thank you. <laughs> All right. I shall. Okay. You'll taste that go. cinnamon in there, and it's so good. All right, Ed. Mmm. Talk <laughs> about sweet. <Smokes. laughs> mm. That's sweet. Okay. okay. And on this Valentine's Day, do you have a sweetie or sweetheart? Yes. Mm -hmm. My husband and I are celebrating our first Valentine's Day with our daughter, Camilla. Oh. She's six months old. Oh, look at that. And look at the... You look can at her, see... Look at her already starting with me, Tierra. I right have there. her selling her salsa already. She's, She's a good salesperson. Selling the salsa. Oh, my... Oh, look at that little dress she has on. How beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> on those big old eyes. Oh, my goodness. She's yeah, so we, of course, are celebrating sweethearts today on yes, SA Live. Are. I have a lovely sweetheart as well mm -hmm. to say happy That's Valentine's you. Day, too. We have a picture. This one popped up from uh, a couple of years ago. We got all dressed up kind of fancy oh, and stuff like right that. Oh, so, Valentine's Day. Look at that. It, it was a, a formal event. I was emceeing this, <laughs> and um, it happened to be on Valentine's Gosh, Day. Gosh, guys so. look so good in tuxes, right? I mean, you know, my wife always says, she goes, Take, I've got to pick out a new dress. All you do is you put on the you same, same tux that you've worn for so 15 good. years. They look so good. Well, you really, really. And I, right. I have to admit that I did repost this yesterday. It mm -hmm. popped up. I said it's always nice hanging with the best looking girl in the, in the room. Oh! So, you know, so. Okay. Yeah. All right. So you and sweetie. Man. Yes. Uh huh. What? Let's oh. See. Yeah. Oh whoa. We were channeling, channeling Fifty Shades of something. I don't no know. No kidding. But, <laughs> but something. Yeah. Oh yeah. my goodness. He sent that to me this morning. The, that collection of uh, mm -hmm. wedding pictures that you mm -hmm. had done and everything. Yeah. It was very fun. Oh yeah. Yeah. He, he was yeah. great. Yeah. Sorry really for great pictures. Fantastic. So. so we want you to give a shout out to your sweetie, send pictures if it's your kids, your pets, your husband, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, it doesn't matter. Let us know at SA Live KSAT on Facebook and Twitter and we'll put them on TV. Yes, indeed. And how about more sweets? And David Elder, who is the foodie, and I'll tell you when, when he finds a place, he's like, oh, this is the real thing. Mm -hmm. Oh, the, and if he comes <laughs> up with the top five list, you know it's really good. And oh, we're starting yeah. off with Baklava Bakery. All right. Look at these goodies here. This right here, you know the candy? Mm hmm. Ferrara Rocher, right? For, for, mm -hmm. for, 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 the one that's hard uh, to pronounce. The one that's sometimes. hard to pronounce. Yeah. But okay. He's really good. Right. <laughs> Ferrara Rocher, yes. That is that that cake right there. And then this has strawberry. strawberry on the inside, raspberry on the outside. Is that a dusting of chocolate and gold on top? <laughs> <laughs> and last but not least. Look, and that. That's wow! Hot. It's. It looks like it's not real. It's so perfect. Mm -hmm. It's gold Everything. leaf on top and, and, and top. strawberry. I just want to kind of go like mm -hmm. strawberry mousse. Kind of All right. So and we're going to walk you through the rest Bak of those right Baklava here. Baklava, Baklava Bakery. Bakery. Next. Mm hmm. Center Point Station is located a short drive to San Marcos, and they offer freshly baked goods daily. This is a picture of their gigantic cinnamon rolls slathered in icing. And get this, it's not just regular icing, it's donut icing. Really? Uh-huh. Don't you love the word slathered yes, when it comes to icing? when it comes to icing, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Next, we have Panifico Bake Shop. It serves up freshly baked Mex... Oh, my goodness gracious. Mexican sweet bread and more. They have special heart-shaped chocolate cake topped with macaroons and strawberries. They also have a heart-shaped cookie and donut to fill your sweets with. And Fat Boy Burgers, David shares their big banana split. Remember, this is the one we showed you yesterday, the three-foot banana split. Mm -hmm. To make this bad boy, they use five bananas, 18 scoops of ice cream equal to half a gallon of ice cream, and topped with a load of whipped cream, Oreos, gummy bears, sprinkles, cherry sauce, and more. You need to pre-order 24 hours in advance if you want to get it.
18 scoops of ice cream. Mm -hmm. Okay, Popcorn Piccadilly is a vintage shop that offers candies, sodas, and freshly popped popcorn daily. Right now, they have an entire Valentine's Day popcorn line. This first picture is their Tutti Frutti flavored, reminiscent of cherry and bubblegum. Next photo, we have, ooh, cherry cheesecake, graham cracker goodness. And last but not least, chocolate covered strawberry flavored popcorn. All right, and don't forget, send in the pictures of your sweets mm -hmm. coming up. Next. All right. Next on SA Live, get ready for some serious sweet kisses from Susie the Cockatoo. It's a wild Wednesday Valentine edition. And a green cheese sauce slathered, here's that word again, on a Philly cheesesteak <laughs> where you can grab this grub and a delicious dish a little bit later on in the show. So stay with us. I think she does too. Who do we have here? Well, that right there, Fiona, Whoop. is Susie. Susie's an umbrella cockatoo. Get this, she's in her late 40s, early 50s, and this animal is native to Indonesia, Southeast Asia. And Wild Days is all about seeing it here and saving it there. This animal is a former pet. They can live 60 to 80 years. Can you believe that? So she's still got a lot of life in her. She does, mm -hmm. and she is the life of the party. She's making <laughs> your bird brain right now. Hang I was gonna on. Say. During Wild Days, we give people a chance to kind of connect with these animals, learn more about what we do as a, as a park. And on our opening day here at SeaWorld, February 24th, Guy Harvey, conservationist extraordinaire himself, a very, very big um, supporter of healthy oceans. Mm -hmm. He's supporting coral reef research right now in Indonesia and all over the world. And we're very happy to have him as a partner. She's getting some walnut bits off your hand. Well, look at that. She, she <laughs> bent all the way over. I thought she was going to fall over, but she's not, right? <laughs> no, she's not. And Susie, along with all the other animals you can visit when you come to SeaWorld in February 24th, you can also do a painting with Pigné. I don't know, that's a French word, I guess. <laughs> but you can meet Guy Harvey, see some of his amazing art, and learn about awesome animals like this. This is an endangered species. She's pretty vocal, too. She, Does she know how to say anything? Let's see, let's see. Susie, can you say hi? There you go. Hey, can you wave to all the people watching at home, watching SA Live at home right now? It's a wild Wednesday. <laughs> Look at those feet. These Look are called zygodactyl feet. Two toes point forward, two toes that point backward. This allows her to grip on a tree branch. Let me show you something. Yes. Watch this. If she were to get startled in a tree or if, if a hurricane were coming to blow, right. she could hang on upside down <gasps> just like that. Susie, look at you. <laughs> the whole world's upside down, isn't it? She's hanging in there. <laughs> she get the name Umbrella Cockatoo because of this. <laughs> Ella. Look at that beautiful, Whoa, beautiful crest of feathers on her head. Look at that on the top of your head. Talk about the crowning glory. <laughs> and I noticed even when she was trying to get the walnut, she was using her, 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 her feet, feet yes, to kind of grab it. They'll put the food in their mouth, manipulate the food with their feet, and then they'll use that beak, which by the way, uh -huh. if she has enough time, can crack through a broomstick. Hey Susie, by the way, did you know that today is Valentine's Day? Did you know that? Hey, can I have a kiss right here? Burn. It's because my wife is watching. Because <laughs> my wife is watching. <laughs> she didn't give out free kisses. No. <laughs> but She's is... like, I'm not that kind of bird play. <laughs> this experience you're having with Susie, that's what we want to have here at SeaWorld during Wild Days with Guy Harvey. We want people to come here. We want them to see it here, save it there, protect this animal and her habitat, because that's what's going to save umbrella cockatoos for many, many years to come. All right, Clay, tell folks when Wild Days is happening. Wild Days is going to kick off right here, March 3rd, with my friend Jungle Jack. Jack and Hannah, and then on March 9th, Last Chance Forever has Birds of Prey. Don't listen, Susie, there's hawks and eagles oh, oh, in oh, that show. Oh, oh. And then starting on March 16th, I take the stage with SeaWorld Live, where you get a behind-the-scenes look at SeaWorld Live on this wild day stage. All right, thank you so much, Clay, and thank you so Say much, Miss Susie. Say bye! For more information on SeaWorld and Wild Days, head to our website, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. <laughs> All right, straight ahead. Green Philly cheesesteak for two. Yes, please, where you can snag this one-of-a-kind green creation. And Grupo Folklorico de Bendiciones has a special colorful performance a little later on.
Jackson with SA Live. Well, I'm out here at my favorite place to get a Philly cheesesteak in San Antonio. Talking about you guys, Philly cheesesteaks. They have two new sandwiches that they're introducing. One of them has a spicy kick to it. The other one is the Mean Green Sandwich. We're going to go inside and show you what it's all about. There's your standard Philly sandwich. Then there's these two Philly sandwiches from you guys in Universal City, Texas. White American cheese is melted down and green food coloring is added to give it that green shine. For the Philly color. The cheese is green like the color of their favorite football team, but don't worry, it still tastes great. This is the only place so you can come out here and you get green cheese in honor of the Philadelphia Eagles. Look at that cheese. <laughs> and the other sandwich is a tribute to being the underdog during the big game. The Philly Dilly Underdog Sandwich has a fried hot dog underneath the cheese and meat in their locally famous Philly Cheesesteak Sandwich. Their meat and bread are sourced right from Philly. 34. Making sure you get the closest thing to a Philly sandwich from the city of brotherly love. My dad came from Philly, my grandmother came from Philly, so we still have family and friends over there. Plus, the guy making your sandwich, Jimmy De Laurentiis, is related to Joey Vento, the owner of Geno's in Philly. These Philly natives are proud to bring the love for their team to the Alamo City. What do you think about next season? I think we got a pretty good shot again. Yeah. Why not? And if you show up in another team's gear, don't worry. You could still eat. But if you show up in their favorite team's gear, you get a free Italian ice. Come celebrate the big game victory with some Philly natives and try their two new sandwiches in honor of their favorite football team. You guys got to come out here. You guys making one of the best, if not the best, Philly cheesesteak in San Antonio. Keep eating San Antonio. For SA Live, I'm David Elder. All right, next on SA Live, the art of folklorico. Turn up your TV and put your dancing shoes on. We're showing you a few moves next. Plus, tomorrow on SA Live, they aren't your ordinary Lent recipes. Take a look at these pictures. We're serving up shrimp jalapeno poppers and seared snapper with Chilitos signature sauce. All right, lines, wrinkles, dark circles. Yep, the signs of aging, they aren't always fun, but what if you had a non-surgical way to reverse some of those pesky problems? Dr. Tamara Rogers, owner of Dr. Rogers Centers, is here this afternoon. And yeah, a lot of people, you know, Botox and this and this and that, and you've got a whole new way of doing things. And we've got some great before and after photos again. Yes, yes. So basically what we're going to use is start using fat, and we're going to use that as your filler. Um, fat's been around, we call it a fat transfer for many, many years, but it was only able to be done in the operating room. And so now what we're able to do is bring it into the clinic. There was a doctor in Belgium that invented a new way to emulsify fat, and I was able to train with him in San Diego. So now we can basically use your fat like a natural filler. So what signs of aging can fat take care of. I wouldn't see the picture. Yeah, of hands so you saw the, like you've the, seen the hands. As we get lips. older, we lose that volume in the hands. This patient actually had scleroderma, and you can see we went in, which is a disease of the skin, and we're healing that through the stem cells in the fat. And then the first person actually had had a facelift in the past, and but didn't have any volume. So we went in and we used our fat to regenerate her skin, and then also to replace that volume and on her is face. Basically, anybody a good candidate? For this anybody anybody is really a good candidate because we're basically using your own fat so mm -hmm. we don't have a reaction to it and it's going to be natural and it's basically going to help your body heal just with all the natural stem cells that are actually in uh, the fat and we're talking about a non-surgical fix so the the whole process with this is you have to liposuction we do a fat. small area of just mechanical liposuction yes and what's interesting is where you do the liposuction yeah we really we really love that you know nobody likes flank fat, right? But we love flank love fat handles, because, as we call them. yes, so we love that because that really gives us, we know beyond getting the fat, we know we're getting the most stem cells for the regeneration in that area. Because that fat is different yes. than fat Metabol or You know, like metabolic that. fat, yes. So then you take, and like you said, you, you just squeeze this stuff down and get the fine we and get inject it. it. Right, so now we're able, you know, a lot of people have Botox. We use a really tiny needle for Botox, and now we're able, with the emulsification of the fat, to get it into a liquid form so that we're able Able to inject it so it's much less you know the, the pain is not much at all when we do it 
Um, plus, we can use small cannulas now, and so we can do any area, any area of the face. And unlike uh, regular dermal fillers, we can go a little bit more superficial, so the tear trough areas and really those fine lines and wrinkles that we couldn't do with traditional fillers. So you get the little liposuction done in, in the office, right? In the, the office, whole procedure right. injected, and then you said you can go the next step right away. Yeah, right away. Normally, when we do uh, traditional fillers, we can't do any type of skin resurfacing. So what we want to do is immediately Immediately when we finish, we'll do either a CO2 laser or we'll do what's called a micro a micro pin, and then we'll actually have some of that residual fat and apply it to the face. So now you're using those stem cells to regenerate your face too. So you get it all done in one session rather than having to go and get a laser, you know, one step and then go and get your fillers another step. So you're thinking, okay, you got to do the liposuction thing, you got to do this, you got to do that, and how does that compare to the, you know, just pull out the needle with the filler in it? Right. Price-wise, price believe it or not, it's going to be cheaper. So a lot of times when we do these procedures, we're able to charge half of what we normally would charge with traditional fillers. Because we're using free. your fat. And right. the other stuff is the actual... That's right. We have to pay for all those fillers. The labor costs are basically less than the product yes. cost of the other one. Absolutely. Okay. And you've got a, a special going on for viewers right now? Yeah. So we're going to get $500 off anybody that calls us and sees this today. And we always offer free uh, consultations. And we can talk about what... What we can do for you. And it's your own fat just getting put it's, back in those little wrinkles and yeah, everything. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, doctor, thank you very much. For more information on this procedure, please call 210-495-2117. That's 210-495-2117. Or go online to drrogerscenters.com. Happy Valentine's Day. Oh, you too. Yes. Valentine's Day without some good music and a special performance from Grupo Folclorico de Bendiciones. Grupo Folclorico is a professional dance group from San Antonio. They do events all over Texas and continue to grow and perform traditional dances from Mexico for all occasions. And without further ado, take it away. On Grupo Folclorico de Bendiciones. And where you can catch them live, visit SALive.com and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. Now, we're going to be back right after the break, and our own dancing mistress, Fiona, is going to try her hand at it as well. Yes, you are. Beautiful skirt. You look gorgeous there. But first, here's a look at some of the events happening at the Tobin Center brought to you by BMW of San Antonio.
Hey, this is Grupo Folklorico de Bendiciones, and you're watching SA Live. My goodness, they are beautiful. Oh, and there's Fiona getting a lesson from Mia. Those skirts are absolutely as far as we've gotten right now. <laughs> you, you found the seam on the skirt. That's a good start. Okay. So Mia's going to teach her a little bit about that. And joining me right now is Anthony Salazar, and you're the director of Group for Folklorico de Bendiciones. How long has the group been together? We've been together for three years. Okay. We began in 2015. You said this is your anniversary this year. And yes, February 28th will be our third year anniversary. How many in the group? We have seven dance members, and we perform at a professional advanced level. Now, on the show before, we've had many folkloric dancers, and it's just been women, but I've never seen a band do it. And the whole, the knives thing and all that, what's that all about? Yes, uh, the machetes, uh, it's very authentic. They have the rustic look, and it's coming from the state of Colima, in Mexico. So you'll see like the girls' dresses, mm -hmm. they resemble the tropical scene because the state of Colima is located off the coast of the Pacific Ocean in the western part of Mexico. Okay, and then what are the knives for? The knives are, are used to make intri in intricate uh, tricks uh, with your footwork and choreography. And they come from the state of Colima. Okay. And it's, there's a presentation that we just did and that is known as the Dance of Los Machetes, the Dance of the Large Knives. In, indeed, that pretty much sums it up right there. Yes. So seven members, you said you've been doing this for 30 years. Dance yes, I have. Okay. Yes, my mom put me in it and I didn't know what the dance was. I fell in love with it. Now it's my passion and I just can't stop. Okay. <laughs> and age ranges in the group? Uh, age ranges from 14 all the way to my age, 37. I'm oh, the oldest. You're the oldest, the and, and she's the, the baby of the group, She's the right? youngest, yes. At, at 14 years old. Yes, she is. And absolutely fantastic. Yes. Uh, if somebody's interested in the group, how would they get in touch with you, or if somebody wants to be a folklore or dancer? Yes, we're always looking for experienced dancers that have strong ability and dance skills and a lot of knowledge in folklore, folklore so that way we can dance together as a team. And you can reach us. We're on Facebook, on okay. Facebook.com. Grupo Folclorico de Bendiciones. All right, let's see how they're doing over there. How you doing, Fiona? I don't know. <laughs> how does it look? <laughs> it looks fantastic. So I'm in the second set? Uh-huh. <laughs> and then the third. What do you think, Anthony? Would you hire her? Very good, yes. She's, yeah, she's got it. Out. Yes. <laughs> she's got talent. <laughs> Me and Anthony from Grupo de Bendecidos are here. Thank you very much. We appreciate it. Thank you. We will be back. Beautiful. Valentine's Day, we want to make sure your hearts are happy and healthy. Mike's going to eat that little cookie in, in about 20 seconds. <laughs> oh, oh, somebody's already claimed it. All right. Well, Dr. Gustavo Guajardo with Baptist Health Systems is here to have a heart-to-heart -heart on heart health. Thank you so much for being here, doctor. There are some pretty shocking facts about cardiovascular disease. You know, how hard is it hitting San Antonio and, you know, patients here, of course? Well, cardiovascular disease is, is very common in, in the United States. I would say about a million uh, Americans die from it uh, and about, um, you know, a quarter of uh, people that are elder than 75 can have something called aortic stenosis uh, because it's a very, very common, common disease. Um, it's... Uh, coronary disease or blockages in your artery are a little more common, but um, uh, what we're going to talk about today is, is about aortic stenosis. So this is a huge issue in, in general, in addition mm -hmm. to, of course, aortic stenosis, but you have a procedure that's been really helping some of your patients. Tell us a little bit about TAVR. Right, so um, TAVR means transcatheter aortic valve replacement. Um, and as you can see on, on the video, uh, what that means is uh, instead of uh, the usual way where we used to go through the chest and uh, connect patients to the heart-lung machine and stop the heart, now we can do it through the groin or through uh, an artery in an uh, extremity or occasionally through the neck. Uh, and uh, we get access to your heart and using a balloon and a, and a valve, just like the one that's, that we have here, we can replace that valve. It makes patients recover much faster. They can usually go home in, in a day or two, as opposed to uh, how we used to do it before with open heart surgery. 
So is it a little bit safer overall? Um, I think both procedures have mm -hmm. their risks. Mm -hmm. uh, um, one has a little more risk in, in, the, in terms of uh, uh, the vascular system, the mm -hmm. way you do it. You can mm -hmm. carry risk of uh, hurting the, the mm -hmm. blood vessels or, or causing strokes. Mm -hmm. And the other one has other uh, risks, like surgery has mm -hmm. risk of infection and bleeding and so forth. Um, but overall, I think for high-risk patients or mm -hmm. patients that are very old, uh, patients in their 80s, is probably safer than, than to do open heart surgery. So what symptoms would someone have if they might need the TAVR procedure? So I'm, I'm glad you asked because the aortic stenosis or the, the obstruction of the aortic valve has uh, very non-specific symptoms uh, and um, a lot of patients don't recognize them. Mm -hmm. They think that they are short of breath or they're tired or they're fatigued just because they're old, and, and that's not necessarily true. Uh, a lot of them is because of the disease. Um, another common symptom is fainting or passing out, uh, swelling on your uh, lower extremities, um, or heart failure symptoms. So how is aortic stenosis specifically diagnosed? How, how um, the way we diagnose is obviously with, uh, it's a clinical diagnosis mm -hmm. to start off with the symptoms and what you hear on their hearts, uh, but the, the final diagnosis is done with an ultrasound or an echocardiogram. Okay. Uh, that's the gold standard currently. And so the benefits to patients from getting TAVR, as you mentioned, is just shorter recovery? Short recovery. Mm -hmm. uh, they can start walking since uh, day one. Uh, there's very little limitations after they uh, leave the hospital. Mm -hmm. Okay, great stuff. Of course, thank you so much, doctor, for being here. For more information on Baptist Health System Structural Heart Center, you can call 866-445-3668. That's 866-445-3668 or head to bhshearts.com. to share your sweethearts and sweeties for Valentine's Day. Crystal says, oh, we're celebrating our anniversary, Happy anniversary today. Happy anniversary on the day of love. The great cups. Joe says, my love and I are celebrating our first Valentine's oh. together. Love you, Sabrina Ann. Oh, that's so sweet. Joe, you got points. Sandra says, happy <laughs> Valentine's Day to my forever Carlos. Oh, look, look at that picture, picture with the heart. I know. I know. <laughs> Tamara says, happy Valentine's Day from Christian. Mom oh. made my cute shirt oh, for school God. today. Oh, that's going to wow all the ladies. Oh, uh -huh. yeah. Shay says, oh, it's our eight-year wedding anniversary. Shay and Dwight Jones, happy anniversary. Look at that little cherub in the middle. And Felicia says, our third Valentine's Day together, Batman of San Antonio. <laughs> <laughs> Brianna says, happy Valentine's Day and happy one-year anniversary to my soulmate that I love very much. May God continue to bless us with many, many more. And we have one more. Anel says, the love of my life. Aww. Are these great pictures? I know. It just makes you feel, I know. No. <laughs> Warm and fuzzy inside. You know what's going to make you feel really good inside? We need a bunch of sweets, too. Oh, yeah. And you know that's going to be a lot of that. I know. Tonight. Look mm -hmm. at all of these goodies down here. This is from Baklava Bakery and some of these from Viva Via. And that still doesn't even look real. That's real gold on there. Mm -hmm. That's a what? Strawberry mousse. Strawberry mousse. Mm -hmm. Strawberry mousse and the Ferrar Rocher cake right there. And then, mm -hmm. yeah. And this is coming up tomorrow. Okay. We've got more sweets Ooh. on there. Yes, indeed. All right. The Girl Scouts will be on the show tomorrow. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. With cookies? Are they bringing cookies? I, I hope so. <laughs> unless they, unless all, all the cookies <laughs> have been like, purchased. Ever, all the cookies? Mm -hmm. That's like, it, it's like a coup when people are, ooh, ooh, where do I get the girl, where do I get the Girl Scout cookies from? Where do I get them from? <laughs> <laughs> And they aren't your ordinary Lenten. Oh, look at the Girl Scouts there. Aren't they beautiful? They aren't your ordinary Lenten recipes. Take a look at these pictures. We're serving up shrimp jalapeno poppers and seared snapper with Cholitos signature sauce. I got one word for that. Mm -hmm. Yum. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. Well, we are going to make sure Grupo Folklorico de Bendiciones takes us out on this Valentine's Day.